you imagine living long enough to celebrate a whopping 107 years? Well, you're about to meet someone who is. Meet Miss Peggy. CBS 46's Sorry Bussy shows you. For Miss Peggy, it's not about how long life is. It's what you do with it. Miss Peggy's actual 107th birthday was at the end of May. She's being celebrated today. Happy birthday to you. More than a century's worth of connections and friendships. She's a beautiful lady, beautiful lady. And we learned so much from her. More than a century's worth of lessons on life and love. Furnish your mind well, and you will always have a comfortable place to live. More than a century's worth of mountains climbed and obstacles moved. She would hang out at the local airport in this little town of Marshall, Minnesota, and um, she actually did a solo flight. Peggy Cobb has some serious history, and today she celebrates her most recent feat, turning 107. I'm overwhelmed with being overwhelmed. She says she doesn't think much about age because she has something her friends call PMA, a positive mental attitude. Be flexible and you won't get bent out of shape. <laughs> She's a children's book author. She's one of six siblings, got her master's degree in art at a time when women rarely attended college. She has a curiosity about life, a positive mindset that has never dulled, even when life took heartbreaking turns. She lost a daughter in 1998 of cancer. She had cerebral palsy to watch uh, mom take care of her and everybody else and have this uh, very positive attitude. Peggy is one of five residents here at Hammond Glen Retirement Community who has lived a century. The staff here knows how big of a deal that is. They celebrate along with the residents. Happy birthday, Miss Peggy, from all of us at CBS 46.